The race for delivery drones is gathering speed. Walmart is on track to file more drone patents than Amazon for the second year running, as the pair battle for supremacy in the rapidly changing world of retail. In June, Amazon said it would start delivering packages to customers using drones within months. Google is trialing a similar project in Australia and Finland, while Alibaba and DHL are exploring automated couriers in China. Uber is testing food delivery by drone in San Diego, with plans to ramp up its commercial service this year. All are aiming to get items to people more quickly and cheaply, especially in traffic congested cities. But there are some obstacles, such as noise pollution, privacy issues, terrorism concerns, inclement weather, and as the number of drones grows, the increasing risk of mid-air collisions. Uber's early drone service won't bother figuring out how to land on your doorstep. Instead, it will meet couriers at a designated drop-off point before being hand-delivered to the customer. Amazon has filed a patent to use street lamps for drone delivery stations, while DHL's parcel copter will drop packages at a smart locker and send recipients a code to open it. The number of drone patents filed around the world has climbed sharply, increasing more than 17-fold over the last five years. Chinese companies are leading the charge, accounting for about two-thirds of patents filed last year. They're followed by the US, with South Korea a distant third. The European Aviation Safety Agency has just released a set of operational regulations. But in the US, Alphabet's Wing Aviation is the only drone company that has received FAA approval for commercial deliveries. In China, the military controls over half of the airspace, restricting the use of drones to a relatively small area compared to other nations. The commercial drone market is growing rapidly, but while delivery drones garner much media attention, it may be a while before they have any real impact. The Gartner report has stated that by 2020, delivery drones could still amount to less than 1% of the commercial market.